Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to 164 Land for a very special unboxing today. This is something that I pre-ordered on January 6th of 2021, so a full two plus years ago. Uh, this is the 1992 Ram or Dodge Ram 10 piece set from Outback Toys. And I was checking in on it periodically, seeing their progress. Obviously, um, uh, we'll call it supply chain issues and factory shutting down. But just recently, I saw them popping up on eBay. And I was hoping that meant that mine would be shipping soon. And no sooner did I wonder that that I got an email uh, with a shipping notification a couple days later I get this nice box here and uh, it's been sitting in my basement for a couple days and finally got around to cracking this open so I'm really excited for this uh, I can't remember what they all look like I didn't do any um, uh, refreshing of my memory before this so this excitement is uh, we're gonna share this we're gonna share this excitement so let's crack it open and uh, let's let's get to it, shall we? All right, so uh, another new casting was introduced by Outback Toys. I think they were the first to do the Ram 3500 Dooleys, uh, if I recall correctly. Here's the packing slip. All right. And uh, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Plenty, plenty of packing material. I kind of want to have a, a surprise as, as I as I crack these open. So we got the Ram logo now. This generation of Ram is actually a Dodge Ram. So we got the first generation Ram here. So this is, a, I believe they call this a pulling truck, maybe. It's got a uh, ridiculous exhaust in the uh, in the bed of the truck there. It's got big old wheels. It's got something up front. I'm not too familiar with the um, tractor poles and all that stuff, but that is uh, pretty cool. It's got a trailer hitch out back with looks like a drop hitch. So pretty, uh, pretty gnarly here. And uh, hopefully later this week, I'm gonna go ahead and crack all these open. <clears throat> and uh, that way I can take some pictures of them and really, really get to it. So this is the First generation Ram Dually with a gooseneck trailer. Now I'm excited about this because I believe in one of the upcoming Dually driver series, they're going to utilize a, uh, a standard Dually bed here instead of just this flat bed here. So pretty cool. Standard uh, gooseneck trailer. I've got countless, countless go gooseneck trailers, but all good. Looks uh, looks pretty solid there. Got nice nice uh, tires. Nice coloring, nice front end. I like it. So we have, what's next? So we have, looks like the same one, just in white. It's got black wheels. And uh, it's almost probably a custom there. Because it doesn't have any uh, belt line trim there. Just, just pretty plain uh, white cab so pretty neat excellent and a metal chassis if you could see that there okay. okay this one's pretty uh pretty standard here looks like a 92 i think they're all 92 so i don't have to say the year every time uh long bed Short bed, standard bed. I'll have to compare it with the, um, which one did I just get? The Vintage Ad Series has a, a RAM in it. I like the two-tone, possibly new wheels there. Very nice. Next up, looks like we got a gray one. Oh, that's cool, I like this. Those look like different wheels. Yep, different wheels. Gray two-tone. Very cool. I like it. I 
a few more here. Oh, this is neat. Little old man tan. So, looks to me like they're the same, just different color color schemes, which I'm okay with. The more the merrier, right? There's some uh, shading differences to the cards here. That's not very nice. Let's see what else we got. Looks like we got two. Oh no, we got a. Okay. So here's the four by four with a with a roll bar on the back. Nice, nice custom there. I like those tires appropriately sized. Very neat. <laughs> oh, this this is the perfect one. Green. This is this is the this is the color ram I think of when I think of this generation is this hunter green here. I like it. This might be my favorite one. Okay, let's take it up. Two more. There's another standard one here in blue. That one's actually pretty sweet. I think the only thing that would make this casting better is if they put mirrors on the side. Sometimes they do that and it's, you know, it's like a head without ears. You know it's you know what it is, but it just looks a little awkward. Okay, last up is the another four by four here. This one is oh another pulling truck. So it's got that thing in the front. It's got the uh, ridiculous stack in the bed there. Four by four there. Let's see, let's see. Yep, this one's got it too. The 4x4 chassis with the extended suspension. So pretty cool. Awesome. Well, I'm very excited to have these. I can't wait to crack them all open, get some pictures done, and then stick them in a bin, put them in my basement, and forget about them forever. <laughs> all right, anyway, thanks for viewing, guys. Have a great night.